Please pay attention to the following safety precautions, goes the familiar chorus. It can be tempting for frequent travelers and occasional flyers to ignore the safety announcements that come before each trip. Many of us don't want to consider emergencies during flights, and dealing with an emergency can seem like a distant possibility. It is impossible to be completely ready for every situation. Even when we've got great intentions, things still go awry. However, with preparation, planning, and sound judgment, we may increase our chances of handling emergencies successfully. Do not do injury first. Fly the aircraft and maintain control. After that, evaluate the problem and solve it. In most cases, dramatic action is not necessary and it may even make things worse. When the engine breaks down or you find a fire, that is far harder to say than to accomplish. Emergency situations are frequently divided into planned and unplanned scenarios by airline crew. An engine malfunction or a fire are examples of situations where an airline crew moves to land when they become aware of the situation that could endanger the remainder of the flight. Unexpected crises, including severe weather or terror strikes, force a jet to make an emergency landing. In any scenario, it's still critical to know what to do if you find yourself in a crisis, whether you're a crew member or a passenger. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can handle the airplane emergency in 5 minutes. Since the cabin crew is more responsible for the safety of passengers, this video highlights the key roles and duties of the cabin crew in the state of an airline emergency. Before we start the video, here's a little reminder to please like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Share the video with your friends and family to help them stay safe during travel. And without further ado, let's get rolling. The Role of the Cabin Crew in Airline Emergency Situations Female flight attendants are known as hostesses, while male flight attendants are referred to as hosts. The space between the cockpit door and the back kitchen are under their control. Cabin crew make decisions based on orders provided by pilots as well as co-pilots outside of the cockpit. On a flight, they are also responsible for passengers' comfort and safety, and they update the passengers as required and ordered by pilots. Outside of the aircraft or in the cockpit, the flight attendants are not in command. Both routine and emergency circumstances can be handled by the cabin crew. Following the orders, they close the exit doors on the left and right sides of the aircraft. The primary responsibility The primary responsibility of the cabin crew is to verbally and physically describe to travelers what to do in the event of an emergency. Additionally, hosts and hostess have a responsibility to notify passengers of all essential information on emergency protocols and evacuations. Handling of an emergency In the time of an emergency, flight attendants keep their cam and try the best to ensure passenger safety. Following the instructions of the flight attendants and paying attention to what they are speaking into the mic, passengers can easily understand and handle any kind of emergency during a flight. Who comes last out of an aircraft? Did you know that the captain must be the last member of crew to leave the cockpit? and the last person to leave the aircraft after a final check that all passengers have left the aircraft. Prior to the arrival of the emergency rescue services, they are in command of the activities on the ground. As a passenger, how should you handle an emergency situation in an aircraft? Pre-planning before every flight First and foremost, make a plan before an emergency arises. You'll know what to do if anything happens after that. If there is an emergency and there are passengers involved, it would probably be an evacuation. It's imperative to handle every flight with the highest care and precision regardless of your level of experience as an aircraft traveler. Every aircraft, crew, and passenger group is unique. Spend some time reviewing the emergency protocols you know. Make sure you are familiar with the locations of the critical equipment and emergency exits. Understand the safety instructions. That implies pay attention to the safety instructions. Watching the safety demonstrations is the simplest and most effective approach to get ready for any emergency situations. The captain has a legal obligation to make sure that every passenger is informed on the safety and emergency protocol specific to the aircraft type prior to every flight. The task is given to the cabin staff because it's unfeasible for the captain to perform it themselves aboard the aircraft. Always be aware of the exit doors. Look around yourself as you navigate your path to your seat. Which door did you use to enter when you stepped on? Which direction did you turn? The other doors, where are they? Knowing your surroundings better will help you become more situationally aware, which will increase your chances of fleeing in an emergency. There is a possibility that one door will be blocked in an emergency, leaving the cabin black and smoke-filled. You won't be able to see two inches in front of your face if there is smoke or darkness. Therefore, you will need to be able to figure the roads to an exit in order to escape. 
keep listening to the cabin crew instructions. Pay close attention to the flight attendant's instructions and follow them. They will shout things like, come this way, and get out, get out, get out, in their fiercest shouting voices. Without an instruction, do not leave the area. A fire outside of the aircraft, possibly on the engine, might be visible. The crew might be deciding to evacuate and performing some crucial tasks before the doors are unlocked because they are aware of the situation. Leave your belongings behind. Take absolutely nothing with you. It will be snatched out of your hands and thrown into the galley or lavatory if a flight crew is at the exit. If required, you will be forced head first down the slide. Evacuation Every individual who exits the aircraft, regardless of injury, is a life saved in the crew's eyes. On the slides, injuries frequently happen, so when you reach the door, just leap and jump quickly. Don't even pause or wait for the person in front of you to finish the slide. You will feel a size 8 air hostess heel bang against the small of your back if you don't leave straight away. You do the help or you keep moving. A big, strong person or two will be ordered by the flight attendants to remain at the bottom of the slide and drag people away from the slide as they descend. That duty might be placed on you. It's a huge one, and if you do it well, you'll considerably reduce the number of injuries. Move away from the aircraft and towards a patch of grass as soon as you touch down. Never sit or stand on a paved surface. It is also quite risky to be close to an aircraft or even on a pavement since the fire apparatus will be rushing into the area. Oh, and without saying the simple truth, now is not the time to begin smoking because there could be a fuel leak. With this, the video comes to an end. Did you find the information useful? Please let us know in the comment section below. And yes, you can also share any thoughtful information regarding handling the airplane emergency situations in the comment section. Do make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon as well so you can continue watching such insightful aviation focused videos regularly. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.